Hi everyone. Sometimes chair pose can feel awkward. So today I thought we would explore a few variations where after a little while, chair pose feels actually like a resting pose. We'll be strengthening our outer hips, strengthening our legs. We'll also get some stretch in as well. So you might want to have a couple blocks. And we'll begin with a few variations for chair pose just to make sure that we're getting the right position. So you might come into your Tadasana. And then arms wherever they're comfortable to you. Lift your heels and lower your heels. Just notice how that feels. So we're getting into the calves a little bit here. We're strengthening the calves a little bit, and we'll get a little stretch into the calves when we come into chair pose as well. Maybe hold. Might explore balance. And then lower your heels. Sit your hips back. Lengthen through your spine. Bring your weight to your heels. Hands might be at your heart, or you might have them out slightly in front of you. Chair pose. Feet are fairly parallel here. Notice how this feels. Might feel awkward. So notice how I have my hips a little back, like you're going to sit in a chair. We want to avoid the hips forward. That can put strain on the knees. Breathe here. And after a while, it's like, whew, a lot of work. And then come into a forward fold. So get a little rest here. Hinging at your hips, you might have blocks handy for your hands, or your hands might come to your mat. Keep your spine nice and long. And just let those legs get a little stretch here. Drawing up those kneecaps. Present to the balls of your feet. Bend your knees. Bring your hands to your thighs. Start to look forward. And then come up slowly, hands at your heart. Samastiti. So anytime you might just feel lightheaded for any reason, press your hands together a little more firmly and squeeze your glutes. Sometimes that can really help. If you have low blood pressure, sometimes that's a really handy thing to do. So now we're going to come into a strengthening for the outer hips. It's called Shiva Squat. There's many variations. It's sort of like a curtsy, and it helps to build strength into the outer hips and also helps to improve your balance poses. So it's a really great tool. It can be a little challenging. So we're going to start with this variation coming into chair pose. You can have your hands at your heart, though. So again, make sure your hips are going back a little bit. And then take your right foot back, just diagonally from your left foot, sort of like a curtsy. So you're keeping your weight on the ball of your right foot or the toes, just very lightly. Most of your weight is on your left foot. Left leg is bent. You're going to feel this in your outer left hip. To increase this challenge, you might decide to come onto the toes of your right foot. If you're ready to go deeper and challenge yourself more, maybe lift the right toes up, pointing your right knee towards the mat. Feel that action in your outer left hip. Might start to waver a little. And then exhale, chair pose. Oh. Notice now if chair pose feels a little bit easier, a little bit more like a resting pose. And then we'll do the other side. But first, let's come up to Tadasana and pause. And then we'll do the other side. So again, bend your knees coming into chair pose. Weight in your heels a little bit. Take your left foot back. Just having a little weight onto the left foot, 
either the ball of the foot or your toes. Most of your weight is on that right foot. You'll feel this in the outer right hip, right knee is bent. More challenge, tippy toes, hardly any weight on the left foot. More challenge, lift the foot up, pointing your left knee towards the mat. Hands pressed together gently, bending that right leg. Only as much as feels appropriate to you. You can use a wall for support if you need to, if your balance wavers. Breathe here. And when you're ready, chair pose. Oh, notice that release. Chair pose can feel like a resting pose, as long as you don't stay here too long. Inhale, rise, and pause. Find your breath. Notice those hips. So we're going to get into a little stretch now for those legs. Take an inhale, hinge from your hip crease. Uttanasana, nice long spine, forward fold. And stay at the halfway point with your hands on blocks, or you might hinge deeper from the hips. A little bend in the knees is totally fine. Keep your spine long. Breathe here. If you prefer, you can plant your hands, step one foot back and then the other, and come into your downward dog. Breathe here. And come to a seat. Pause, notice sensation, notice your breath. Thank you for joining me for this brief little practice with chair pose, increasing your outer hip strength and finding those moments when chair pose felt like a resting pose. Feel free to continue your practice with whatever else you would like to do today. And I look forward to seeing you next time on the mat. Thank you for joining me.